What's up guys? We just showed up to Quality Aquatics here in Minnesota. We are gonna be doing a small little fish store tour. We just gotta wait for Avery and my wife. So let's do this. You want your hat on? <laughs> Come on, guys, let's go. Oh, she wants her bucket. <laughs> what, is she gonna trick or treat in the fish store? Grab her up there. Oh, huh? she's coming? Are you coming? Okay, let me help. Come on, guys. Come on, Dad is excited. Let's go. There's a step there. Be careful. I know it's cute, huh? Hello. You're so funny. You just like this hat, don't you? Man, the tanks are looking awesome. Big fish, huh? Some popcorn. Some popcorn. Dynamous. <laughs> Avery, look at how big they are. It's hard to see with the glare. All right, guys, I'm going to attempt a voiceover on this video just because I feel like there wasn't enough audio to kind of keep you guys entertained. So, Quality Aquatics. This fish store has kind of become a staple in the state of Minnesota. And those of you local to Minnesota sort of know the struggle our state has gone through to have good local fish stores. I don't know what it is about the state of Minnesota, but it's almost like this entire state doesn't want to embrace fish keeping. And I gotta say, it makes me completely sad. I mean, I'm kind of amplifying this, but uh, I swear, guys, there's not uh, there's not half the amount of fish keepers in Minnesota other states have. Yeah. Look at this big one. It's a big silver arowana. It's an albino silver arowana. No, that's an arowana, honey. That long one? Yeah, albino silver, five hundred bucks. Can I get it? Look at yeah. this! Look at this guy. His arrow's even bigger. Wow! Ah, the glare is so bad. Even though the drive for me is like 60 miles here to Quality Aquatics, it's still worth the drive because this is what my life entails and is all about. I'm completely obsessed. It just kind of makes me sad that there's not more good fish stores like this in the state of Minnesota. I would say there's three pinnacle stores right now, Tamed Waters, Quality Aquatics, and Forest Lake Pets. Forest Lake Pets has been around forever and everyone knows it. Guys, why isn't there more fish stores like think? this you know what i mean it's uh this is uh, i don't know like what oh, fails man, on these fish stores actually you know what i'm gonna quit rambling about this because this could be a cool promotional video also that's helping quality aquatics as you can see their their tanks are amazing they're keeping pristine fish they have pretty much all types of fish they have everything going for the store right now what touches close to my heart with this fish store quality aquatics is the fact that they keep large fish in general a lot of fish stores 
only keep community tetra small community fish and that's not what i'm into for the most part and i know that cory from aquarium co-op claims that fish stores should pretty much only sell fish that you can keep together hence i'm paraphrasing but guys i like stores that keep big cichlids you just saw a monster sturgeon for sale what i'm trying to say is quality aquatics keeps a wide range of different types of fish they have fancy strains of guppies, different live bears, endlers, all the way to uh, probably the best flower horn selection in the state of Minnesota. Three foot long bichers, uh, different ornate bichers, saltwater fish. Guys, I could keep going. I mean, look at this arowana tank. You don't see this in fish stores in the state of Minnesota. And if you have tanks like this in your state at your local fish store, you should be very proud. Fancy goldfish. Uh, there's not a store in Minnesota that has fancy goldfish like that, per se. And I don't know. I just cannot push the fact of how happy I am to have a store like this. Look at this. Assorted Africans that are four to six inches long. That's pretty rare in the state of Minnesota. I'm going to say that 200 times. The discus. Here's some albino Oscars for $4.99, some more Africans. We are in the cichlid aisle, so Chris is getting excited. And to be completely honest with you, I would usually have purchased some fish. Uh, this, or Actually, this is a new thing that I have going. When I go to some of my favorite fish stores sometimes, I've been getting so overwhelmed that I leave buying nothing. I think lately I've been not buying a lot of fish because I'm in the middle of setting up the shop at home and I'm kind of like stuck in between transitional like I'm just stressing out on what I'm going to keep in the tanks in the shop per se. I was a little worried about bringing my two year old daughter Avery to the fish store. We did have somewhat of a rough drive with the two year old in the car driving 60 miles here. So we're going to have to find something to burn some time. But she actually was really good in the fish store. She's just going through like kind of a transitional stage right now where she's teething. She's throwing things. She's smacking people. She's hitting. Um, those of you with kids know exactly what I'm talking about. That the terrible two transition. But she did amazing in the store. And I got to say that when she was like dipping her little head in to look at each tank individual... Uh, my heart was just filling with love because there there is starting to see some hope of her loving fish. Um, like we'll be at Target or Walmart or something and she'll see a little toy that is a fish toy. And she'll say like, oh, Dada, you know, Dada. Which fish should Daddy get? Will you pick out a fish for Daddy? Those are big fish, huh? Big, big yes. Big, big, big fish. My, my, my. Yes. Okay. There's another beauty. Stunning. That one's really pretty. Stunning. I have some of those at home. And yes, we have another aisleway full of cichlids here. I love this fish store because they keep cichlids and they're so fairly priced like look at the flower horns over here guys flower on this horns. side of the wall the flower horns so this flower horn right here 40 59.99 that is such a fair price there is another fish store 
in the state of Minnesota keeping cichlids like this in its forest lake pets. But I gotta say, forest lake pets kind of knows they've become the pinnacle fish store forever and they've raised their prices a little bit and they're a little pricey. I don't know. Argue me on that. It's my personal opinion. And some of you guys aren't local. You're like, Chris, shut up about these local fish stores, right? I like the fact that they have pretty much adult-sized green tears for under $50. Like, I went to a Petco the other day that had a green tear like that, and it was like $120, which is ridiculous. Look at the little beautiful flower horn. So beautiful. This is what I would probably bring home today as a flower horn. But I was like, Chris... You're in some weird mood. You're going to have to set up an entirely different tank for a flower horn on the go. Don't do it. I've done it before. That's how I know I I, I know I my own mistakes, so to say. I, 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 oh, I, I, flower horns are just calling my name today like I'm crazy. Oh, guys, Quality Aquatics, you got to check it out. Um, this is sort of an on-the-go tour. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like this video, etc., etc.